Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Civilization V. So my plan was to go to war with Venice, but I've realized that I'm, that may be just a tad bit aggressive. Um, there's a reason for my madness, and the reason is I think I made an early mistake, which is that I've been I've been not focusing on my strengths, and my big strengths are writing for uh, the Royal Library and the Siege Tower, which is an incredibly powerful melee siege unit. Um, it gives a bonus to everybody else nearby. And uh, its attack strength is 12, which is equivalent, basically, to the trebuchet. So yeah, it's freaking awesome, and I should be heading towards that soon. We're going to do it right after we finish getting mining, because I do have that gold mine that I want to work on. We're going to go for mathematics. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it's okay if we fall behind a little bit on tech, because we can make up with it. Make up with it. Make up for it. Um, in a... Uh, by conquering things. So we're not going to conquer anything right now. Uh, one of my viewers did say that I should automate my workers. So let's automate my workers. Why not? Um, we can also uh, um, have this uh, guy explore. No problem. And then we'll just fortify these two uh, archer units here. I'm going to have them attack. I mean, we're going to attack Venice. There's no doubt we're going to attack Venice. Venice, your days are numbered. But uh, for now, uh, you, you're going to have a small reprieve. Because I'm not going to attack you just yet. As much as I would like to. Not until I have a, um... An aggressive building of some kind. And by that I mean the uh, siege tower. Why is nothing happening? Oh, because... It didn't tell me that my uh, turn was over because I have... I've automated everything. Uh, we've discovered a barbarian camp and we've discovered the Ethiopians. Um, cool. So the Ethiopians are, uh... Wait, are those Ethiopians? Are these Ethiopians? Yes, these are Ethiopians. They look just like barbarians, but they're not barbarians. They're Ethiopians. Um, so cool. That's cool. Uh, we do want to expand again. That's why I got that settler going. Because the sooner we expand, the better, in my opinion. Uh, we got mining. Now it's time to get Mathematica. And we'll go to war with uh, Venice as soon as we get the uh, mathematics, basically. Um, Nineveh wants pearls. Yeah, well, you can want all the pearls you want. You're not going to get them anytime soon. Nineveh is the way to say that. Nineveh, not Nevene. That's a kind of horrible thing to say. Um, so I got a scout. The scout can get uh, automated as well. Go explore. Um, and then I want you to build actually a... Uh, you want me to build a monument? No, we're going to build a granary because that will help me gain some, some precious food. And then maybe I'll get another worker in uh, Asher once uh, once we're done building this settler of Catan. Good game. Uh, Asher wants silver, and we've met uh, the Portugalese. Yeah, you want silver. Do I have any silver nearby? Is that what you're... Is this... No, that's salt. That's gold. That's salt. Salt. So, Oh, there's silver. Well, we're going to get some when we colonize over here, so don't worry about it. Colombo seeks investors. Um, you want investors, interesting. Pledging to protect a city-state, that's the other major trends again, that you will protect them. Yes, of course, I do want... Uh, I do want to keep Columbo alive, but for now, we're just going to, to leave that. Leave that where it is. Nineveh. All right, we got our settler. Awesome. Um, we should be building a granary here, too. What are we thinking? Get that granary under construction. Cool, we'll get this. We'll, we'll steal this silver, get it under our influence. And some stone as well, which will be good as well. Yeah, we need masonry to use the stone. I understand that. Somebody's entered the classical period. We were, we were trying to race for the classical period. That's okay. The big risk here is that uh, the Venetians build a city, which is not what we want them to do. We are the least well-fed people, in case anybody was wondering, um, which is not good, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, not much we can do about that. I like the mountain right here, just sort of chilling by the coastline. Very interesting... Uh, um, things that the, the game builds. Yeah, I definitely need another worker. So you get me another worker. Hit enter. 
I must have hit right shift instead of enter. Oh, and we're getting a, uh, um, let's discuss, I don't want to denounce you. That's it. No, you don't want to be friends with me yet, even though you're friendly. Okay, that's fine. Um, we have a, a caravan on its way from Venice. I'm cool with a caravan. Why aren't you building a gold mine? Ethiopian warrior, Mongolian scout. Um, are you a war? Oh, those are interesting. Interesting. Well, we have our little corner up here, which is going well, and Venice will f soon be part of the, uh, the greater fold. Why aren't you doing what I told you to do, which is to explore automatically and stop being scared of of pathetic pain. what the barbarians have a settler oh my god um minor victory against the barbarians there yeah we need to come down and get that settler from the barbarians they must have stolen it from the portuguese so yeah that'd be good if we could do that Oh, are you kidding me? Why do you keep focusing on these beautiful explorers? All they are, you know, they're just, they're just land-loving explorers. They just want to explore. Oh, minor defeat. That would be bad. You keep your automation up. I should just hit A, which would just automate that shiz. Um, we're still not ready for these guys, so you come along to come on down. God, I want to attack him so bad. Enrico Dandolo, which is this D bag, has entered the classical era. Stalemate. That's not good. Unit needs orders. You do, yeah. Heal yourself. The sooner you c you'll be in position to attack, the better. Well, I wish I could just drag you and be like, yeah, I want you to attack. Please come attack. But they don't want to attack. I want that settler so bad. So they've set up a trade route. Are you kidding me? One archer. We've gained mathematics, which allows us to build the catapult. And allows us to also enter the uh, classical city. And we have met the city-state of Panama. Cool. And we found a natural wonder as well. Awesome. Um, now we, I do want to research um, writing. The next thing I'd like to research is because I want the li li library. Um, and then once you're done building stuff, I would really like to... Um, Stalemate, decisive victory there. That'd be good at least. Yeah, get the decisive victory. Boom. Um, I'd really like to get get a catapult built. So we can come crush these guys and take all their shit. <laughs> Nothing like crushing your enemies and taking all their shit. Public decoration from Poland. Um, welcome, Poland. What did they just declare? They've declared that they're protecting Panama City. They declared they're protecting Colombo. Um, I have somebody I haven't met is a friend to uh, these guys. Alright, how are you going to do? Now, if I have you come in, are you going to be able to win? No, they're not going to be able to win. And so the reason we're not doing anything right now is that uh, these are... I'm worried about these guys. And then somebody else's uh, army. Interesting. I can adopt a policy. That is really good. So we're going to do that. Give me those settlers. Give me your settlers of Catan. Oh, come on. Thank you. You've captured a, a civilian unit. Talk, the choice of returning it or taking it for yourself as a worker. If you return it, they should be... No, fuck it. It's mine. <laughs> Take the worker. It's mine. 
I didn't expect to get a worker, I expect to get a settler, but that's just my uh, naivete when it comes to the game, obviously. Um, just me being stupid, but having an extra worker is not bad at all. You need to get back into position for the attack. Oh, and I need to adopt a policy. Um, so I could get the one that gives me, um... Speed training center, like, free capital and gain a free settler near the capital. So, uh... Venice we get a merchant of Venice yes I think what I'm gonna do is get the free settler um, which is here and then he needs to go colonize oh I'd like to get the ocean location so yeah we're gonna have him come down this way and of course my cursor has fucked up and then it came back <laughs> gotta love that shit Alright, cool. So yeah, we're going to get this land from these guys. We're also going to crush this, uh... Alright, so what are these? Oh, these guys can get promoted, and I want them to actually, um... Not f when fighting in rough terrain, when fighting in open terrain. I want to get these guys to get shocked too, and then I want them to heal. I want you guys to come back this direction. I want the workers to automate themselves. Excellent. Good. This is really good. Where is my screen going? You want me to accept an embassy. By doing so, you'll give me one gold per turn for 30 turns. Can I, can I adjust this? Um, five gold per turn. Propose? We'll make this deal work. Any deal we suggest revolt in an unfair exchange for you? Well, that's interesting. This is not a fair. If you wish for us to get anywhere, you must offer a fair deal. How do I get the, like, I want to... Wait, why can't I get this to do what I want it to do? How do I adjust this deal? Come on, cursor, stop being stupid. One, two, three, four. What is going on? Why can't I adjust the deal? And why does this guy's face keep popping in and out of existence? Something's annoying me back. That, that, that's... Alright, I need to, I need to talk to those guys. Something was not right there. Uh, diplomacy. That was with Ethiopia. Uh, discuss. Alright, go back. Uh, trade, that's what I want to do. I will accept an embassy. There we go. Back. Um, trade. I will accept an embassy. Allows open border and defensive packs. Also allows you to see location of the other place capital. Alright. Um, an exchange for... There we go. Now I can edit it. I wonder why I couldn't edit it before. Four. Uh, propose. Three. Propose. Two. Propose. One. One propose. Alright, so I'll get one gold. That's fine. So I ended up getting what they proposed in the first place. Uh, the only reason I wanted to do that is I wanted to see if I could get anything else. I was a little annoyed. They want me to trade salt in ex for 30 turns. In exchange, they'll give me horses for 30 turns and uh, two gold per turn. Um, sure, actually, I'll take that. And the reason I'll take that is that allows me to get... Um, I can't get Connors declared war on Colombo. Interesting. Um, that allows me to get uh, uh, chariots. Even though I have plenty of horses, and I'm going to get my own horses soon, um, I'm okay with this. I'm very much okay with what's going on here. I'm not sure I should be building a, a worker in this area, but that's okay. Um, Colombo desires copper. We've gained writing, which is good. Writing is helpful. Let's open the tech tree here. Uh, 
bronze working would help because it would allow us to get spearmen as well. Masonry would be good because we get city walls and head towards construction, which would drive us towards uh, engineering. Um, horseback riding is good because it allows us to get horsemen who are very strong and are good. Um, they're definitely stronger than than uh, chariots, but chariots are still good and they're stronger than archers. So yeah, that's all good. Uh, let's get... What do I want? What do I want? Is the real question here. Sailing is not bad either. Um, but I think we're going to go for bronze working. Because it allows us to see iron. Which is actually a good thing to see as well. Um, so yeah we're going we're gonna to do that. Um, this is almost done. What? Who needs orders? You need orders. Yes I want you to go on the mountaintop. Um, you I want. Oh that's my settler. Oh I wanted you to come down and found a city down here. In the, by the coast. Come down this way. Oh, I found the problem. There's a goddamn Polish settler there. If you fucking settle right there, I'm going to murder you. Like, literally, I'm going to come and, and, and make you hate yourself and everything that you stand for. You fucking bitches. <laughs> I hate you so much. All right. Well, it is what it is. I can't really do anything about it. Um... That annoys me. That really annoys me. That is exactly where I wanted to settle. Well, let's head towards the other side of Venice, and we're going to settle in these forests, actually, um, because we're going to take Venice. As I've, as I've made quite clear, we're going to take Venice. Two turns away from having our, our, our weapons of war, then we'll build a, uh, another art, or a, a another archer. We'll build a chariot to be exact. Um, I want you to come up here as well and you're gonna chill down. Oh, Venetian warriors, yeah. What should I choose to produce? Um, chariot archer will take 20 turns. Just not worth it. Uh, royal library, uh, which is good. Or monument, which is also good. Let's take the monument for now. Just because it's, it's sooner. They have a lot of warriors. Genghis Khan has entered the classical area like a bunch of D-bags. Yeah, Poland. I, I'll remember your D-baggery when I conquer you. Alright, let's get a uh, chariot archer there as well. Syrian siege tower. I want you guys to come get ready for the invasion. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, technology. Absolutely beautiful. Next turn. Oh, if you try to beat me to where I'm freaking going, I will murder you as well, Portugal. Who needs to build something? Oh, yep, another. You can automate yourself. Choose production. How about you build a uh, beautiful granary? I love how that's somehow a military option. Um, actually, how long would it take for you to build? Uh, oh, you're not building. You're not. You're not increasing yourself. All right. So we should be able to crush you. You're not going to be able to build your stupid city first. You're going to cry about it. And it's going to be awesome. Um, we can found a pantheon. Thank you. Let's found a pantheon. We finally got there. All right. So which one do we want? A lot of the good ones are taken. Um, we can gain plus one production in cities with a population of three plus. That's a good one. Um, don't care about the faith. We can get happiness from cities of population six plus. Uh, that's also a good one. Uh, production of, we can gain, uh, to build monuments, we can gain science, uh, get 15% faster border growth, a good one. Sacred waters, we get happiness from cities on rivers, that's, uh, not bad. We have one city on a river, um, so I don't know if that's a good, we'll have two when we get Venice. Um, 
King Faith. Um, I might just take the plus one production. Is that the plus one production or the plus one happiness? That's the one I'm, I'm looking at going for here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Whatever I choose, someone's going to think it's a bad idea. But let's take... Uh, um, plus one production in cities with population 3 plus is going to be pretty much every city. Although plus one production in the late game isn't that useful. Uh, happiness is always useful. Let's take the plus one happiness. Yes, it's not going to be useful for us right away, but it will be useful for us soon. You need to build me a city so you can punk these guys. Um, you also need to build a granary because you're in the middle of god fucking worst nowhere uh, place to be in the world. Um, and now we're right back where we were before, which is about to attack the Venetians, although they have a bigger army than they did before. That's okay. We are, I think we're ready to go. This, this beast here is awesome. Who needs orders? You need orders. Um, just have you chill there and then we're going to have a, another set of archers. So as soon as, uh, this turn wraps around, we're going to, we're going to end the episode. So I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I apologize if my rambling or anything has annoyed you, but, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. You know, I love love people who subscribe. I love people who don't subscribe. I love all you guys. You don't have to subscribe. Feel, feel free to do whatever you'd like. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys on the next episode.